Hey YouTube! This is Super Zemis and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 3! Last time we got trapped in Heinz Castle! So we gotta do something about this! But let me go over my setup here, viewers. We have I changed the setup a bit for um Lunith. I turned him into a knight. The knight is basically just a complete upgrade from the fighter, so yeah, just he's all over better, so might as well. But the most notable difference I made was I, I put Ingus in the back row and made him a scholar. Remember how the one guy said only a scholar can see through Heinz's weakness? Well, that's what we're going to need. We're going to need Ingus for that. So, <coughs> that's the biggest difference. So, I'm just going to keep him as a scholar throughout the entire dungeon. Why not? Never really get... I'll just show him off. Why not? But anyway, um, for equipment, I gave Lunit the Ice Blade and the Salaman Sword and the Ice Helm. And I also gave him the knight's armor and the gauntlet. So that'll be useful there. Much, It's much better equipment. And then for Ingus, I gave him the light tome and the ice tome, the scholar hat and the scholar robe. Scholar actually isn't that bad when it comes to attack and uh, defense. I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad. Anyway, let's talk to people. Oh no! Gotta stop him! Oh, well remember what he says for later, because we'll, we'll find that later on, but first... Oh, well that makes sense. Oh. Oh no, we well, better stop Hine. We will, King Argus, we will. Well, at least we know now that King Argus wasn't behind this. Behind the attacks on Taco, that is. Oh, really? Hine was the minister? Well, that's not good. Anyway, let's talk to this guy now. Alright, well, this guy dies off, but he gives us eight luck mallets for this door right here. Yeah, see, we can't go in unless we're tiny. Oh, here's a soldier right here. What do you have to say? What the? <coughs> well, it looks like he's evil. Yeah, we have to fight diamonds. No, not demons. I guess that's a mistranslation for demon. I, I can only assume so, but... Nah, nah, it's not diamond, like Sahuagins! Anyway, the demons are pretty easy here. I'm gonna call them demons, whatever. And I'm not gonna actually use magic. I don't think they're actually weak to anything, so might as well just attack. Yeah, not bad, Ingus, not bad. Th those are books of power, man! <coughs> anyway, the demons are pretty easy there. They're actually a... They're a rare enemy in Castle Hine, actually. Anyway, just defeat him, and... What we want to do here, instead of actually casting the mini spell with Refia, I want to actually use those eight luck mallets that we got. So, let's turn everyone mini, shall we? So, everyone's mini, and we can go through here, and we make it into the real... Uh, the real part of the dungeon. Anyway, let's get back to normal, shall we? That's why we have eight, so we can get mini and go back to normal, so that's nice. Anyway, let's explore explore the place now. This, uh, I mean, it's a relatively longer dungeon, and the enemies here actually give quite a bit of experience. Ah, here's some new enemies. Here we have the Lemrates and the Pharaohs in the back. The Lemrates are pretty easy. You can wa basically one-shot them with uh, Lunin. However, the Pharaohs, they, they have an ability called Glare, which that makes you fall asleep. So, they're basically like, uh, what were the enemies that could do that in the beginning of the game? Was it, uh, the... Was it the Cursed Coins back in the Cave of the Seal? I think they were. They also, the Pharaohs, though, they can also confuse you with their physical attacks. However, it's actually really rare that they hit, and even though they do, it's really rare that it actually confuses you, so... No worries, it can happen, it's just rare that it does. <coughs> Lemrites actually are the easiest ones, though, so... Lunith can basically one-shot them. Oh yeah, and I believe the uh, pharaohs are also weak to... Well, they're weak to cure because they're undead, and they're weak to fire because they're undead. See? Yeah, they haven't even been confused yet. It's pretty rare that they actually confuse you. You know what? Let's use a little fire. Oh, no. Not on the Lemrae. This'll make it uh, a little bit easier to take these guys down. Right there, and... Ingus attack. <coughs> Alright. Oh, he's got one hit in. Nice hit! Wow, 320 damage. Nice, Lunin. Oh, 
Looks like I've been asleep. See, that's what happens. I haven't killed the Pharaoh yet. At least I'm not confused yet. That would be annoying. Yeah, the enemies here get quite a bit of experience, and they're actually, uh, not really that hard, so... Thankfully. Oh, nice hit, Refia. Good job. <coughs> yes, uh, yeah, but I'm not gonna be actually doing level grinding here, mainly because, well... It's only a one-time dungeon. You're never gonna be here again, and... Well, there's not really any healing points in this area, so... Don't really want to waste my uh, HP on these guys. Anyway, get some holy arrows, that's great. So let's go through this secret passage here. Alright, and in this chest we find a uh, phoenix down. Never have enough of those. Never have enough of soft potions either. Anyway, here we have another new enemy, the Lamia. Those guys can, uh, they can uh, confuse you with their um, glare ability. So Lamias can use glare, but it confuses you unlike the Pharaoh, so be careful about that. First, you probably want to take out the Pharaohs, because the Lamia's in the back row, so it's going to be kind of hard to be able to damage her. No, not here. I wanted you to use a Burning Staff. Right there would be great, and Ingus, why don't you take out that, um, one. Nuts. Kind of sucks that Ark keeps getting glared at. <coughs> why are you giving Ark the death glare? It can be annoying if uh, the Lamia actually confuses Lunith. That would be annoying. Alright, um, take out that Pharaoh, I guess. And another burning staff right there. That should take out that Pharaoh. And if not, then Ingus should be able to handle it. Nice hit, Ingus. Can always use a little extra damage. No, I guess it didn't take out the Pharaoh. Come on, guys! I know you can do better than that. <coughs> Ingus is still asleep. Or not Ingus, um, Ark. I always get Ark and Ingus confused for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, in the DS version, I don't get them confused, but it's just this version for some reason. Oh, oh well. If the mages get confused, they can't actually damage you that much anyway, so... And besides, now I've been hit, so I'm not confused anymore. Good job, guys. Actually, um, Lunith, why don't you go after the Lamia, because Refia should be able to take out that Pharaoh. With her burning staff. Yep, I guess the staffs are getting a little bit more useful if you, uh... If you, what is it, um... <coughs> exploit the uh, elemental weaknesses of enemies. The Lamia, I don't think, is actually weak to anything, so it's not going to really be a big help. However, Lunith's a big help with his very strong attack power. The power of knights! Anyway, let's keep going here. Anyway, um, yep, yeah, there's three doors here. Might as well check them all out. This door, we get, uh, 130 gil. That sucks. Can you do better than that? Oh, I can. All right. Ooh, get 6,300. Nice. Lots of money. How much money do I have, anyway? Ooh, 56,000. I'm not doing too bad on Gil. <coughs> and in this, we get the Zeus's Rage and another Phoenix Down. Don't really care for the Zeus's Rage, though. At this point in the game, I just sell all the battle items because they're pretty weak, honestly. Also, feel no shame in using your spell charges in this area, viewers. You have so many at this point. Well, at least level 1. I don't care. Don't use any others, but at this point, you can use the level 1s, because we have quite a bit. There we got the King Sword. Remember that one, that one guy was saying? The uh, Hein was hiding the sword? Well, now we have it. Let's check it out. Um, I want to actually take off the Salaman Sword right there, and let's equip that uh, King Sword. Yeah! Oh, yeah. We're going to have that one for a while. Oh, the King Sword is just obscene. But anyway, um, now at this point, I'm gonna keep the Ice Blade, Salaman Sword, and Serpent Sword for a little while, mainly to exploit elemental weaknesses. Uh, someone's weak to someone's weak to an element. I'll just exploit it by switching out the right sword. Anyway, it gained another level there. What level are we at? Anyway, ooh, 17. Nice guys, nice. Anyway, let's just keep going here. Um. Take the north path, and let's go... Uh, let's take this path first to get in this chest. Another phoenix down. Alright. Love getting those phoenix downs. Never have enough of them. G 
Jeez. Luna's getting up to like five or six hits per round. Holy crap. Power, man. You are powerful. Anyway, let's get into this chest. Jeez, Ingus just one-shotted a Lamia, and he's a scholar. Man, Ingus, my... Jeez, my party's powerful right now. Anyway, we get a rune bow in the final chest of the area, so... Time to go to the end now. <coughs> Hine at last. Jeez, he looks like a dead red mage. Anyway, first, I want to heal up. Oh, I didn't even heal up once in this dungeon. <coughs> yeah, the enemies here are not that hard. Anyway, one more should do it. All right, there we go. All ready to go. Time to kick your high knee! Boo! Shut up! Oh, jeez. You're crazy, man. Oh. I don't think so, Hein. Time to fight Hein at last. This guy is actually not that hard. Just for the first round, though, you want to do physical attacks. Not that you'll actually be able to hit him. <coughs> Hein actually... See, really, you're only going to be able to do damage to him when he, um, with, um, his elemental weakness. You can't really get him with your, uh, physical attacks. I mean, you can, but it's rare. You can only get, like, one hit in. Anyway, what you want to do, I forgot to mention, um, the two abilities that the Scholar has is Peep and Scan. Peep, um, shows you the enemy's HP, while Scan shows you their weakness. So, we want to go, um, Scan. Yeah, see, even Lunith can't hit Hein. Physical attacks just do not work, so you want to deal with his uh, weakness. Anyway, what is he weak to? Cold, alright. <coughs> so what we'll want to do is we're going to want to cast Ice 2 on him. Alright, and maybe a, get a cure going on Ingus there. Right. Not Ingus, Ark. Oh, nice! He got two hits in, Lunith. Nice, man. Oh, I do that, and nice! Yeah, look at that damage! <coughs> anyway, it's pretty easy if you just keep uh, casting his weakness. So, another Ice 2, and, uh... You know what, why don't you uh, use your Freezing Staff there? I don't think it'll actually work, but why not? And he's probably gonna use Wall Change here soon, so we might want to get another scan going. Yep, Wall Change. What that does is, well, he changes his weakness, so... Alright, he's still weak to cold? Nice! It could change to anything, by the way. Yeah, I, fi I figured that'd be ineffective. But anyway, it could change to anything, so I was worried that he was gonna absorb that. But thankfully, he's still weak to cold, so we'll still use Ice 2 there, and... You know what, why don't you cure up, uh, Ingus there. Ingus and not Ark. Didn't mix them up this time. Ah, that didn't hurt. You Kine. Wow, you're actually kidding it. Jeez, Lunith, I didn't expect him to deal that much damage. Oh, we beat him already? Alright then, we beat Hein. Yep, pretty easy boss fight, just make sure you're casting his weakness. Now, it can, it does, it's not always cold, it's just the, I got lucky, that's all. And I'm surprised Lunith was able to hit him so much. Uh, game- Whoa, another earthquake! Uh, or, or it's the walls. Whoa, I'm hearing things, man. Oh, it's just the Eldest Tree. Alright. <coughs> yeah, I kind of figured. Yeah, you, first of all, you were floating, and second of all, you looked like a dead tree. Actually, it didn't look like a tree at all. It looked more like roots. Or, uh, what was that? Is it Cousin It from Adam's Family? Almost looked like a fat It. You're welcome, Eldest Tree. Yep. Let's return them to home. There's King Argus! Everyone's happy! Yay! You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, we'll be fine. Are we home? there yet? Are we there yet? Oh, I think we're there yet. Yes! Oh, alright. Let's go! Come on, guys! Now we're in the living forest again. Let's talk to people. How's it doing here? <coughs> You're welcome, fairies. Who are you calling a fairy? Well? 
Well, we gotta stop the power of darkness. But anyway, the eldest tree gives us the wind fang. Remember Nepto gave us the water fang? Well, now we have the wind fang, so we'll be holding on to that one, the wind fang, for a long time too, so... Yay! Alright then. Jeez, a thousand years, I'm not even gonna be there. Crush the darkness! On Friday night, SmackDown! No, no. But now the living forest, yeah, you're not able to enter it. Sorry. Anyway, now where do we go? Well, what we want to do is we're going to have to head back to Taco because I kind of parked my ship there. And the enemies here are easy as ever. There's my ship. Anyway, let's see how it's doing in Taco right now. Everyone's happy. Might as well talk to a few people. Why not? You're welcome. Well, this is basically what everyone says, but I thought it'd be pretty cool to just... Ah, why not? I Let's screw around a little bit. No problem. You're welcome. I'm just gonna screw around. Most of them say the exact same thing, but, uh... uh there are a few different people. Everyone's grateful. Yeah, I know. I know, I'm like Vegeta. I mean, uh... I don't wanna, I don't wanna be a Super Saiyan! Anyway, how are you guys doing? No problem, get out of my way. Alright. Wanna talk to other people too, you're not? Ah, uh, okay, that's everyone. <coughs> We're done. Ouch! Yeah, I thought I'd just do that again. Why not? I'm gonna do that, just screw around in the LP with that. Ouch! The flame hurt! Alright, we're done in Tackle. Finally done in Tackle. But how are things doing in Argas Castle? And what's it like in the world below the continent? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy 3! This is Super Zemus and I'll see you guys next time! Have a good one!